Good evening, fellow punters. Mickey D. back with you on Wednesday evening about 10 past quarter past seven in that region where it's a few for tomorrow. Um, later than I thought, but uh, it was a sort of a hectic day, hectic morning, uh, and we uh, had to get to the church early for the Mass today. It was uh, we're Mass at noon, so we're in the church before 11.30. So shower on that early and breakfast and... Uh, to get medication in the pharmacy or the chemist afterwards then to bring with me injections that it would take three mornings a week and um, shorts to be uh, done dry cleaned one thing after another didn't get to the lawn yet but I'll get to it tonight yet at some stage uh, so because uh, I'm off tomorrow and a few things to do in the morning to get uh, going um, another good day on the bus I seen uh, Gypsy Cream, twenty six must be on the hooch. He said we were a bit unlucky today. Uh, no winner. We we're up twenty seven points and one more to run. <laughs> one more to run. I don't know what he was looking at, but uh, when you have two points each way on a eight to one shot, and two points each way on a tint one, you have the each way double. You're not doing too bad. Um, wob wob wob. Uh, the drying out ground beat him. Um, I thought it was good to soft, it was good, and you could see it, uh, the sun was shining there in Musselboro today, but uh, he needs cut on the ground, I said that last night, um, it's a pity there was uh, not eight in it, that when he finished third, for anyone that had done each way of bets last night, there was three withdrawals, um, they didn't want the ground either, the way it was, but um, very good winner in Alfred Butcher. Ian Williams has been very good to us on in, on stairs uh, the last few months and he was uh, good enough today again. Uh, I, knew, I knew after the 1-4 the last day, stepping him up to two miles in suit. He was eighth last night into, he was off 5-1 I think. Uh, Atalas Bay was beaten a short head and a short head. Three or four more strides and uh, he was up. Um, he'll win a race and he win, could win a race at York. Um, but anyway, um, we're doing all right. Uh, didn't get to look at the comment section to see how any of the other uh, horses done. A um, few newcomers on the bus this morning. Neil Watson, uh, Greg Duffy, Aaron Milani, uh, Mark Graham, he was on before. Uh, James Orman, I think, was on before, but uh, no, he wasn't. Uh, it was the first time. James O'Shea, but I didn't answer him. Uh, I don't think I answered him back. And uh, Paul McNiff uh, was heading out uh, his wife's birthday is uh, tonight or today, but yeah, to both tonight and today. <laughs> but they're heading out for uh, a few pints and a bit of grub. So I hope to have a good night. He's only won a few quid today. Uh, I was on to Killarney today, and the winner of the two tickets on Friday night is drumroll <laughs> Michael Clark. They Picked out the winner this morning. Uh, and I think uh, if you don't hear, I'll send you an email just for fear that they don't. To send me on your email address. Um, I had nothing got to do with it. I don't know where you're from. I have no idea what county. You could be close to the track. You might be miles away. But I'll be there on Friday evening looking forward to meeting you. And the tickets will be left outside, as I said, in the uh, ticket collection uh, area. And I hope you have a good evening. Um, Tomorrow. Tomorrow at York, uh, I found it difficult enough to hammer down a selection, but I, I got one that in each way selection. The three o'clock at York, at York is a one mile handicap, 20 declared, no favourite. Uh, and I look back as far as 2009 has won it. Um, three horses actually drawn, one has won it, and one in two, and one in four, and the rest were all high. Since 2009, that's 13 runnings. Eight times a four-year-old has won. One, one time a three-year-old in 2010 was Ransom Note. Um, I chose a each selection of four-year-old uh, drawn 12 Northern Express for Michael Dodds. It's out of Zoffany, so drying out ground will be fine. 18 lifetime starts, four wins, including one in uh, York. And it won actually a first time out on soft ground. And when Dodds's wins the first time out, it's a sign that they're better than average. It runs off 95, but it won in York off 88. 
Um, its last run, it was fourth of 21 in Ascot to Fresh in a big handicap race. It's an 11 to 1. They're paying six places, a uh, pint each way. I wouldn't be as confident about that in the handicap tomorrow as I was about the two today. So that's why I'm only going to pint each way. In the 605 in Killarney, um, a Cork town called Bantry gives uh, the name to a horse for John Joe Murphy, who does well on the carry tracks. It ran well the last twice, I thought, when it was stepped up to seven furlongs. Um, it was a bit shorter room in Leprostown, and it ran on well on the outside then, under uh, hands and heels and a sort of a tender ride the last day in uh, Gordon Park. Uh, that's a 13-2 to two shot, uh, pint each way on that. Um, the 6.35 at Killarney, uh, um, Grappo or Grappa Nanino. Um, it's drawn sort of, uh, it's a slight problem, it's drawn in 13. But Chris Hayes is experienced enough, he should be able to bounce it out and get a good position. It was a good second to Dunham in, uh, in the Curra. There was 22 in that race and it was fourth in Galway. Um, it should be competitive of this uh, mark. It's a 9-2 to two shot, uh, pint win on that. Um, our old buddy uh, Barometer is out in the 735 uh, carrying a seven pound penalty uh, he won for us uh, in Tremor last week um, that was over two miles with Colin Keane this is over a uh, one mile six um, it's, a, it's a, an amateur or an apprentice race but um, Scott McCullough is riding it he's not a bad lad Um there's actually a horse that I'm afraid of here that we backed in Galway, uh, Razdan. It's a four-year-old for Chris Timmons. And he likes better ground. And soft ground on a bad draw um, didn't do him any justice in Galway on the flat. But I had a good run the first evening when the ground was better over hurls to Royal Eagle. And Royal Eagle won a handicap on the flat since of 70. So at 10 to 1... Um, I thought that was sort of a, a bet we could do. Razdan, 10 to 1, a pint each way, and maybe a small reverse forecast parameter on Razdan. I know I, I've spoke several times about loyalty or whatever, but I, I just prefer a parameter if it was, if it was two miles, uh, like the last when he bounced out, um, because uh, that Razdan isn't a bad horse at all. Um, there was one more uh, somewhere else oh no it's a non-runner uh, it was in Chepstow oh sorry there is one more at the 535 in Killarney uh, in the last 14 runnings of this race over a mile uh, 12 times it was won by a 3 year old so that's 12 out of 14 um, Contarelli Chapel it's an each way selection for Aidan O'Brien it's 8 to 1 it was one first time out um, and it, it got into an awful bother a lot of bother the last time and nine furlongs went to stepped up and trip so a pint each way on that at 8 to 1 that's uh, Contarelli Chapel in the 5.35 um, I don't know what's going to be the story uh, tomorrow evening I'm heading off uh, tomorrow I'm picking up the camper van at about um, 2 o'clock and then I'll come back to the house here and I'll load up what I have to put on into it Heading off, I'm staying uh, in Patrick's Well tomorrow night. There's a change of plan from Charleville. The contact in Charleville has COVID. So he told me, keep away. He said, I don't want to give you that. Decent of, <laughs> Decent of him to tell me. So uh, Patrick's Well tomorrow night. In, uh, in And I rang them today and there's a place, uh, there's a place to park. And they don't do food, but I get it in Dura Doyle on the way. And... Um, on to Killarney the next day then. So I'll see, can I get a video up tomorrow night when I get to the pub down there, see if the Wi-Fi and a position and all that. Anyway, if not, I'll post something up here or whatever. Anyway, bash the bookies, over and out.